case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1980 case of Diamond Vri Chakrabarty, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled on the patentability of a genetically engineered bacterium capable of breaking down crude oil. The bacterium, created by microbiologist Chakrabarty, was at the center of a legal debate on whether it could be considered a manufacture or composition of matter under the law, which would make it eligible for a patent. Initially, the patent examiner rejected claims for the bacteria, arguing that microorganisms are products of nature and not patentable. Chakrabarty appealed this decision, and the Court of Customs and Patent Appeals ultimately reversed the rejection. The case then reached the Supreme Court, which affirmed that the lab-created bacterium was indeed patentable, as it was a non-naturally occurring product of human ingenuity, significantly different from any naturally occurring bacterium, and with potential utility. The court emphasized that while Congress did not exclude living things from patent protection, it had the authority to change or amend the law to exclude genetically engineered organisms if it deemed necessary. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.